Well, just uh, another quick update. Uh, it's been a little while due to uh, a tornado to hit just up the street and wipe out a good majority of my town. Anyway, uh, sorry if this cuts off. The battery's almost dead on this camera and I can't find uh, the charger due to the house being torn apart from the tornado. <laughs> Not physically though, I made it really well in that department. Anyhow, um, just a couple of little quick updates. I got some standby bezels in place. Uh, I still have to plug all the holes, but the bezels are in there. Thank you very much, Ron. They look fantastic. Uh, there is an encoder here. It will be fully adjustable. It's not interfaced yet, but uh, it will be. Uh, yeah, my primary Jet 45 PC is giving me some grief and crapping out, but uh, I'm pretty sure I know what's going on there. Um, so, I have FSX queued up and sitting on the ramp in Lisbon, Portugal. And here's kind of the cool part. Uh, this is what I worked on when I had a few moments. I have the, the Avelisoft electronic flight bag running. Um, it's just queued up there. And over on this screen, as it just refreshed, I have the Rex weather avoidance system running on a standalone PC. And it works quite well on the touch screen and gives me live weather data uh, more than I could pretty much want on every facet of it. Uh, interesting note, uh, the REC system has lost VATSIM connection in the last few days. It used to work before uh, uh, I took my little break and then I came back and I had no weather so it... sorry I think the camera is going dead. Um, Disable that sim weather and all is well. It works like a champ after that. Uh, down here I have the little CDU of sorts running from the Ablesoft program, but underneath that I now have Squawk Box running too. Right now I am actually live on that tip sitting in Lisbon. And on my headset I'm currently getting Lisbon uh, arguing with the uh, oceanic uh, crossing people. It's kind of funny actually. But uh, yeah, I, uh, it seems to all be working together. The only thing I haven't seen yet is the traffic show up on the Ablesoft program. And I uh, forgot to disable the AI traffic in FSX, so I'm getting all kinds of TCAS hits. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Everything seems to be working very, very well. No problems thus far. Uh, right now I still have the SciTech panels functional so I can actually fly the beast and within the next day or so the new Leafus panels will be here from Vince. I had to have them shipped to my work because I have no post office right now. And I was actually surprised that Ron's stuff made it through. I just had to pick it up at the local shopping mall. Anyway. That's uh, kind of where I sit. Pretty soon uh, I should be able to take some decent flights. On a side note, I did figure out that I have to switch the monitors around. Uh, yeah, on that side note, um, I had to flip this monitor around. These monitors work very, very well from a viewing angle from the side, which is the left side, not so much the right and very very well from the top. Uh, you can get right down to an acute angle and it's still visible. I know it won't show up well on this camera but you can read what they s display right down to almost horizontal with the things. They work very very well for the price. So uh, I just ended up flipping this one around. Uh, unfortunately now I have to figure out how I'm going to deal with this but being as how this kind of whole area is uh, going to be a major departure from the Lear, I'll, I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, as of right now, from the captain position, I can I'll snuggle right up here to the MIP and I can see everything vividly, no problems. It's going to be great to fly with. Uh, thanks for watching.